Hello everybody, welcome to Trans E Learning Chemistry Lectures and today we'll be discussing about Boyle's Law and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to Boyle's Law. So let's start. The first question. The first step is to read the question properly so that uh, we can analyze what is given and what needs to be Fine. So here, a balloon contains 7.2 liters of helium. So this is a balloon and it contains the volume as 7.2 liters. The pressure is reduced to 2 atmosphere. Now, uh, here in the question is saying the pressure is reduced. So that means initial pressure we do don't know. This pressure was reduced and a new pressure becomes to atmosphere and the balloon expands to occupy a volume of 25.1 liter. The volume is 25.1 liter corresponding to that reduced pressure that is to atmosphere. We have to find the initial pressure exerted on the balloon. That means we have to find the pressure corresponding to the volume 7.2 liters. So now the second step. What is given and what needs to be found? Uh, pressure 1 is unknown so we need to find that volume 1 is 7.2 liter as shown. Now the pressure gets reduced so the pressure is 2 atmosphere and the volume corresponding to it is 5.1 liter. The third step is that we have to check the units. The volume 1 has a unit liter and the volume 2 has a unit liter. So both the units are same so we need not to convert these uh, units. We will just substitute the value in the Boyle's Law equation. As the temperature is constant we can apply the Boyle's Law equation. This is the Boyle's Law equation which is uh, P1 into V1 is equal to P2 into V2. So I will now just substitute the values. Pressure 1 is unknown and the volume 1 is 7.2 liter and the pressure 2 is 2 atmosphere and the volume 2 is 25.1 liter. So the pressure 1 is 2 atmosphere into 25.1 liter divided by 7.2 liter. The units corresponding to volume will nullify each other. So the pressure uh, will have the units atmosphere. We will get the value as 6.972 atmosphere. So if we just round off so it becomes 7 atmosphere. So the initial pressure was 7 atmosphere when the volume was 7.2 is the second question. Read the question properly. A sample of neon occupies a volume of 461 milliliter at STP. Uh, neon gas and it occupies the volume of 461 milliliter at STP. Here STP stands for standard temperature and pressure and we always take pressure as one atmosphere. We're talking about the standard temperature and pressure. What will be the volume of the neon when the pressure is reduced? The pressure was reduced. The new pressure here becomes 93 point kilopascal. We have to find the volume corresponding to this reduced pressure. You can see here that uh, for STP I am taking one atmosphere and if I take this reduced pressure this is kilopascal. So uh, we have different units. So in this question we need to convert both the units into one common unit so that we can substitute them into Boyle's Law equation. So first of all the second step that what is given and what uh, needs to be found. The pressure 1 is given in STP that is I am taking as 
one atmosphere here for the time being and the volume corresponding to it is 461 milliliter now we reduced the pressure new pressure became as 93. kilo pascal and we have to find the volume corresponding to this reduced pressure when we take into the conversion units that i've discussed we know that one atmosphere is equals to 101325 pascal why i have taken this relation of the units because in the question the other unit of the pressure is pascal so i need to convert one atmosphere into Pascal so but here it's not only Pascal it is kilopascal so what I'm gonna do as the pressure one the initial pressure is given in STP that is one atmosphere in terms of Pascal the pressure one will become as one zero one three two five Pascal but now I want it in kilopascal so I will divide this by thousand on dividing this by 1000, it will come out to be 101.325 Pascal. You have to check here that this pressure 2 is given to one decimal place. So we have to restrict ourselves to one decimal place. As this number is less than 5, so number preceding 2, two will remain same. The pressure 1 will become as 101.3 kilo pascal now the Boyle's law can be applied and the Boyle's law equation is given as pressure 1 into volume 1 is equals to pressure 2 into volume 2 so now I will substitute the values in this equation the pressure 1 is 101.3 k pascal and the volume 1 is 465 ml the pressure 2 is 93.3 k pascal and the volume 2 needs to be fine so here is the volume 2 101.3 k pascal into 461 ml milliliter and this is 93.3 k Pascal. The units of pressure will get nullified and we will get the volume in milliliter. We will get the value as 500.52 milliliter. So if we round off there, so we can get the value as 500 milliliter or oh, why I rounded off this uh, because the volume is given as a whole number it's without decimals so I would like to write it as a whole number in case you need to find the answer in liter then you just have to do a little conversion when we have to convert milliliter into liter we will divide by thousand uh, this will come out to be 0 0.5 liter when they ask you uh, to write the answer in liter you can just do the conversion otherwise this answer is the appropriate answer thank you very much for watching this video for more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com have a great day